asshole burn. Okay, so originally I was going to make a video reviewing the entire first season of Rent a Girlfriend. <laughs> But because of online schooling being a little shit show for me, I was too late to start editing the video and I need to wait until at least the last episode airs if I want to talk about the show itself. More. Yeah, more, more. Fuck. But now I want to talk about a movie that has broken numerous records and has made audiences around the world begin to know about a certain director in Japan. That movie was Your Name. Written and directed by Makoto Shinkai. The anime was a fucking mistake. A man who recently has made a new movie called Wedding Review receiving similar acclaim to Your Name. Sorry, but no. Oh, I told you! God. If you haven't heard of this movie or about this man, you haven't watched a lot of anime, have you? I know, I know. Go fucking watch it. Shinkai, you pervert! Yeah, why am I talking about this movie now, four years after its release? Well, my epic gamer, I want to talk about some recent news that would help introduce Western audiences to this kind of storytelling. A year after Your Name's release, it was announced that a Your Name live action remake was in development in Hollywood. Do you know who the writer was going to be? Eric Heiser. Do you know who he was? Well, I tell you. He's the guy who wrote A Nightmare on Elm Street. The, the 2010 version. Oh god. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. He also wrote masterpieces such as The Thing, Bird Box, Bloodshot. <laughs> but to be fair, he has written Disney movies like Lights Out and Arrival. The latter he received an Oscar nomination for, so not too bad. You know who the producer was gonna be? J.J. Abrams. The guy who brought in a very unnecessary trilogy of Star Wars movies that I've never watched. I want every gun we have to fire on that man. Do it. You know who the director was going to be? Mark Webb, the guy who directed the first and second Amazing Spider-Man movies, and yeah, that's it. I'll be right back. Now this remake looks pretty underwhelming, right? It's just gonna be a bunch of white people not knowing what the crap they're doing and write a little shit show for us to pay full price for. It will eventually be a disappointing, disappointing investment. But recently, directing and writing responsibilities have been given to a different filmmaker by the name of Lee Isaac Chung. <laughs> big chungus, big chungus, big, big chungus, big chungus, big chungus. Who on paper looks like someone with a strong vision and is ready to recreate something as great as this. He's pretty unknown at the moment, as most of his films and documentaries don't even have a Wikipedia page. But from my personal perspective, this is what the remake needs. Because the original people that were in charge to recreate the story, they were very experienced. But it's just that a film like Your Name heavily relies on balance in its storytelling and its visuals. Which, if you if a live action remake would be, were to be done, it's gonna have a lot of CGI and you're gonna need to balance that with a very complex story. And most of the films these guys have made have struggled to keep the story steady. Now, new guy in charge. Exciting. He's Asian. That's good. <laughs> but here's another thing to keep in mind. A Hollywood company is going to be in charge of producing this. It wasn't the American companies who first wanted to do this. It was actually the Japanese. The company in charge of disturbing your name, Toho. Toho wanted the story to be told from a Western point of view because it would have been very easy to do it in Japan, but it'll also be very boring. Think about it. They would have every chance to recreate it shot by shot. And that's not something that audience or even the creators themselves want to experience. Similar thing with the Disney live action remakes. While at the beginning they were good, they, they started recreating them shot by shot, which didn't have the same, same connection that it should have had 20 years later. I like it, Kaji. So by having the story told in a different perspective and setting, they can really dig deeper to make this an even better film than what Shinkai could have made. Even Shinkai himself was disappointed with the final product of the movie, simply because they were not given enough time to create it, which is an advantage the remake has. They really can make this story as beautiful as it should be, at least in Shinkai's eyes. And when asked about the script for the movie, before they would decide to replace the writing director, he said that it was honestly looking good so far, which is already a great sign from the guy who made it. But all we can really do now is hope they pull off a near impossible task, make it on the same level, if not a higher level, as the original. This is something that can't be messed up, 
which I personally hope will have audiences here who are not interested in anime be interested and affected by their unique storytelling. So yeah, so far these are good news that this film is not being rushed out into theaters to make some money, that they're taking their time with developing it, and they're still working to do the original justice. So what do you guys think? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad Baba thing? Boy. Fingers crossed. Let's hope it goes well. Thank you all for watching, and I will start recording the Rent to Girlfriend video as soon as the last episode releases. See ya.